picking up pretty much from where we were. Now I have taken a little bit of time to go over here to sort out Sanctuary and the Red Rocket Truck Stop. You know, just get some of that stuff done. Let's get the chat room up here. Um, but now it's time for us to continue to Diamond City. We've got dog meat in tow and kind of umming and ahhing about doing that. See, he's a good boy. He does help with carry capacity. He can be useful in a in a fight to a limited degree. But um he does tend to chew up flipping med packs. That's the only thing. I made some slight modifications to my weapons as well, nothing. Nothing too big. Um, got a long barrel on this shotgun, stuff like that. Really, what we're interested in doing... Well, we're just interested in getting to Diamond City. We're interested in doing some of the main quests. Advancing our relationship with the likes. Of the Brotherhood of Steel and the Institute so that we can, we can travel around easier. But also, did I just hear something scary? Yep. Uh, also, uh, I want to kind of be friends with the railroad. Reason being that we can get that, that big old hand cannon. I can't remember what it's called. It's a 10 mil pistol. Very, very good. Silenced. Once it's upgraded, it is a death machine. I had that from when I got it right the way through to the end. Ow. Jesus. Oh my god. Yes, so I was talking about that railway gun. I had that from early until the end of the game. It did me very, very well. Wasn't hard to acquire. Oh, hey there, pal. I want to get my hands on it again. I've gone with... Um, semi-auto as opposed to automatic weapons. I just think that we get better sort of value for money out of the ammo with those. So, and ammo is a premium. Now we shot a raider, didn't we? Now where did his body fall? I see you, buddy. We're using 38 ammo, that is very common. Is that a raider bot? No, that's just a little can. I would like to find that body if I can, because it probably had some ammo or something on it, but... I don't know. I can't see it. In the last run through... Hmm. In the last run through, we had a fantastic um, pipe pistol that had the plasma attachment to it. I don't know what you call it. Plasma boost to it. It was really, really useful. Pocketed. Pocketed leather left arm. Pocketing, very, very useful, of course. In survival, you can't fast travel. So being able to carry stuff easily suddenly becomes very valuable. Uh-huh. Now I think that there were some ghouls and stuff around here. Somebody spotted me but they're not trying to kill me or anything so does that mean they're friendly? Oh, hi, Monica! Okay, okay, okay. I think I remember some bad stuff being around here. Um, let's take it easy. It's very nice to have you join us, Monica. Okay, okay, okay. We leveled up just from discovering that location. How handy is that?
It's tempting. <sighs> kind of planning on being a bit of a sniper, so... I, I think the shotgun counts as a rifle, I don't know. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you very much. I've been out for a run. I uh, completed a bit more of my the, the online course thing that I'm doing. Um, I put off editing some videos, which I'm terrible at. Um, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad at just, you know, I should do it, but I don't. Um, but aside from that, yeah, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good, actually. I hope you're well as well. Have you been busy? Have you got a lot of people uh, coming to you for new emotes and stuff like that? I think I said my wife, she loved the uh, the little emotes from our little cat Io. Very, very happy with those. Oh. These are rabid. We do not want them touching us at all. They are diseased. And that's about as bad as it sounds. If they're diseased and they bite you, you'll be diseased. Funny how that works. Whoa! Sometimes they just go flying into the air. Okay, good source of mole rat meat, at least. Uh, any kind of cookable meat. Very useful, because you can use that to, to get your health back, of course. If you don't have an abundance of med packs, you will get some health back just from eating. It doesn't count for much later on in the game. But, uh... Yeah, at this point, it makes a bit of a difference just when you need that boost. Gosh, there's still more. Okay, let's holster the pipe pistol. These early stages, uh, we've got a... Thought dog meat was an enemy there for a second. These early stages, we've got to sort of really search everything. We've got somewhere where we can sleep and therefore save. It's useful. Is there anything else of value here? Maybe some ammo boxes. Maybe some discarded weapons. There we go. Ammo boxes. Shotgun shells. Just what we want. 308 rounds, very useful for our hunting rifle. Not this one. This one. I think it's kind of goofy that it only has a short handle, but okay, fine. We'll, we'll build a stock on this thing at the first opportunity that we get. I think this is a good, good time to sort of save. Where did those little mattresses go? Yeah. Can't, oh, can't sleep while taking radiation down. That kind of makes sense. There's always a chance that we'll pick up an illness when we sleep on a filthy mattress like that, but looks like we're okay this time. Come on, I made a load of... Yeah, more rat chunks, that's it. <sighs> it's getting a little lighter. Is that Diamond City that we can see on the outskirts? Yummy. Children of the Atom. I don't want to be messing with the Children of the Atom. Thought about the new sub-badges. 
Hmm. Sends a military frequency. I've not thought about the sub badges just yet. I need more viewers. I need more people who can uh, sub. Ooh, the Cambridge Police Station. Now. This is our first inroads with the Brotherhood of Steel. And they're kind of on the way. I think we make diversion. Bound to run into some bad guys. But the thing is, once we've made friends with Brotherhood of Steel, we can do some sort of pickup jobs for XP, things like that. They're on the way to Diamond City anyway. Let's just go and say hi to the Brotherhood. I forgot that we meet them this early in the game. Let's help them out and then maybe we'll explore a little bit. God, I hate having very low XP like this. Oh my god. Okay, ghouls, they give us rads. They're very fast. Gonna have to kind of hip shoot them here. Get the hell away from me. these guys are there. Don't get me wrong, we're getting some decent XP out of this, but flip the neck. Oh, come on, boy. Did a bang-up job there. He looked after us. Now, I don't want to use a stim pack if I don't have to. Impacts, of course, are valuable resources. I think I can hear the battle of Cambridge Police Department kind of going on there. Duct tape. Adhesive is very useful. Uh, I don't need that hunting rifle, to be fair. It's our left arm, so shots with rifles will probably be less accurate. I'll sleep it off. One thing that we do have, plenty of water. That will give us a little bit of a health boost as well. Groovy. You know... If I can stay up here, I'm going to stay up here. God, this is hard to hold this steady with a broken arm. Yeah, come on then. Good dog meat. How about you run an intercept play? Not always easy to see these guys in the dark, but it is easy to pick up on the movement. These are pretty far away, so that's going to reduce the damage that we're causing, although this is a long-range type weapon, so better than trying to snipe him with a pistol, that's for damn sure. Gosh, how many of them are there? Kind of enjoying this sniping, though. This is very satisfying. Hello. My dog will get you. 
I think. I don't know where he is. Alrighty, Roo. I'm looking forward to turning dog meat into an absolute literal beast. There's, there's a couple of perks that you can get that improve his uh, performance and combat and everything, so... You can get armor as well later on in the game, I've, I've seen that. Don't want to waste the bobby pins, but this is a bit of a easy XP if we get it. Gotcha. Ooh, some stim packs as well. Now, it's been a while since we've saved. I'm cognizant of that fact. Got you. Uh, last time that I saw this place, I was wiping it out. Not the right weapon for this kind of up close and com personal combat. Well, I ain't stim packing you. Oh my god. I'm stim packing myself, though, I'll tell you that much. That's close. I didn't realize. Now, I want to tag all of these at least once because then I can get some XP when I'm killed. Unless they kill me. Okay, let's give it another go. Maybe we should bust out the shotty. And that might be a good choice. Coolio. I've got uh, I've got some performance enhancing drugs as well. Maybe we should consider them. Well, at least we don't have broken arm. Listen to it. I don't know why I can't hear the radio. Let's get a little higher up. So I should have to listen to it before this mission can be started. Don't know why it's not showing up. We sort of know where it is anyway. I mean, we've been there enough times, so let's... See if we can find it. Break out the old sniper rifle. Not quite having the ammo problems that I was having um, in the previous run through. At least not yet. Could argue that I haven't faced any major challenges yet. So perhaps that's why. That's our means up there. Let's stop running because we don't have many action points and we can't regenerate them very quickly. So, it's not a very good combo, is it? Is this where we were attacked? By a bundle. Yeah, feral ghouls. I see you. Got 
God, man, have recoil on this thing. Boy, oh boy, I do like vats. We haven't really got a build that is playing into that at the moment, but as soon as I've got some more perception, as soon as I've got some more agility, all of those things that you need to be a vat sniper, you know, we're really going to focus in on that. It's just, it's just a very good way to play. Oh, yeah, well, I'd like to hear ideas of how we can get some more viewers. That would be very welcome. I'll take you up on that. Do we still count as being in combat? We do not. I wonder if perhaps... Is there a bed or something that I can... No? Okay. Let's follow the sound of gunfire. That'll take us to Cambridge Police Station. What we could do is we could just trigger, trigger the thing and then we could could actually get out of there we could sprint away um it's not very honorable but then well i can't really finish that sentence it would keep us safe let's get on the roof of that truck let's see if we can snipe some more ghouls let's see if there's any around uh-huh oh just sitting there minding his own business now you don't have a head It looks like they're getting a little more up close and personal. That's what I'm after. Come on then, come and say hi. thought one shell would put them down. Thank you very much. I will. I'll check out my Discord and we'll see about maybe getting a few more viewers. I mean, that'd be fun. It's just, I mean, this kind of stuff is so much fun to share. The more people you can share it with, the better. Oh, hey, come on. I don't want you guys over there lurking in the shadows. Come on, make yourselves known. Huh. Can't even see that frag mine. Oh, hello. Sneaky. Not sneaky enough, but sneaky. Don't worry guys, I'm going to help from a great distance. Actually, I wonder if I can get up here. This is okay. I don't think they can get to us up here. Could be wrong.
I miss all of the groovy stuff that I had that helped with that shooting in my old character as well. Like I said, all I want to do really is tag these things. I'll let everybody else actually do the heavy lifting. It's not like they can die or anything. But I get XP. If I tag them. Don't mind wasting this ammo. Look, see? He gets knocked down and he gets up again. Dog meat. I hate to say it, but uh, why don't you go back to Red Rocket Stop? The fact is... You just get her and then you cost a flipping med pack. The benefit that I get from using him does not outweigh the resources that have to be spent keeping him in tip top shape. God damn it, man, you suck. You're supposed to be Brotherhood of Steel, and there's a couple of janky looking flipping uh, ghouls coming at you, and you just can't hack it. Come on, dude, I believe in you. Yeah, sure, we're not going to get a medal for heroism anytime soon. But we are going to save a ton of ammo. We are going to get some XP. See, I knew you could do it. In the Check your fire. I don't think I actually got any XP when I killed when he killed these guys. I should have done. Well, doesn't matter. I think it was a heroic performance about which songs will be sung. Let me just loot all of these bodies that, uh, that we killed. We. I helped. I was there. I turned up. Uh, I'm injured. Uh. <clears throat> okay. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I prefer to keep my business to myself. Then, if there's nothing left to discuss, I suggest you leave our compound immediately. Oh, no, no, let's be friends. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Have you decided to cooperate and tell me what brought you here? Yes. Test exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are oh, you he's a local grumpy family? person, eh? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I helped you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. That all depends. How much are you paying? So you're a mercenary. Typical. Fine. You help us, and I'll see you're compensated for your services. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, You're too I weak may. to reach them. Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is You're something that will boost the signal. Our target is Arcjet Systems, 
and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? This is a tough mission. Are you willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? It's a good plan. If we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Hey, We've Reese literally just met. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out. Okay, yeah, it's a good old, it's a good old mission. The one that he's got to offer. Leveling up already. I knew this was worth it. That's what I want. This kind of means that we're just a bit more efficient with our ammo, we're causing more damage, we're having some trouble putting stuff down quick enough, so I want to be tougher, I want to be able to put enemies down, I want to have more versatility with things like that, so I want to be able to do more of uh, everything that I could possibly do uh, so handy we can make purified water with that of course we're gonna rest let's just have a quick loot around let's just see if there's anything valuable Halen's mixtape I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. Wah. Pick a damn side and stick with it. Let's get some kip. Let's save. Parched from lack of water, that is not a problem. Hey there. Think you're some kind of hotshot? Yes. You should pay attention. You might learn something. Listen, smartass. I don't take advice from anyone except Top. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. You look weird. Is there any way to earn your respect? Do what you're told. Keep your head down and your mouth shut. Now why don't you run off and see if Top... Scribe. Sorry about the other guys. Oh. Why are you cutting me so much slack? I'm a medic. Call it my bedside manner. Look, it may not seem like it, but Dance is a good man. And Reese? Well, let's just... But you know what? I trust both of them with my... Why are you standing around here like there's nothing to do? Paladin Dance is waiting for you. I'm not waiting for Paladin Dance, though. Let's get back to discovering Diamond City. I think we're still going to have um, some action on the way as well. I want to unlock Hangman's Alley, I think it's called. Do that soon. We're really not very far from the eponymous city. Got to work on my agility at, you know, as soon as possible. It's... It's a quality of life thing. The more that you can sprint, the quicker you can move around the Commonwealth. There's other ways that you can do that, of course. There are other means. Teleporting when you discover the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, using the vertebrates from the Brotherhood, that kind of thing. All very, very useful.
We look so goofy. Now there's bad guys down there. If I recall. You don't necessarily have to start nothing. I don't think. Okay, good. This is a hell of a violent place until you've cleared it. Now, I believe this is Hangman's Alley. This is somewhere that we can turn. Turn into a sanctuary, somewhere where we can just hang out. Do I have to go through backyard apparel first? Don't want to be worrying about food. Bobby pin. Didn't want to break that one either, really, but he did. Yes. Nice. Show your face. Come on. Something about double barrel shotguns is just a lot of fun. But good up close. Getting a lot of XP from killing these goons. I approve of that. Sounds like there's still a lot of fight out there. Are those all metal pieces? I would be quite welcome to having metal armor. Surely not everybody's dead. Got it. Okay, I see no trouble out there. Okay. We've got a home. Wow, this is what this looks like before it's all been uh, messed with. This was my main hub. How come that's not open? That was open. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that because that's just a nuisance to have there. This place was just getting absolutely full of people when I had it in my previous game. I think we got girded chest piece as opposed to sure
What have I got on my left leg? Metal armor, I think, has got a bit more benefit over... Yeah, it does. Not for, uh, for energy weapons, but... Over most things, it's... Ballistic damage is significantly reduced by metal. So we got ourselves some beds. I haven't got anybody to... Um, yeah, to come here. And start sort of trading. I can't. I can't get all of the stuff from my other places yet. Um, you know that you can share resources, right? We're definitely ditching that. We would just get sick if we sleep on a mattress like that. that looks like a nice, comfy bed, right? And while we're at it. Let's not forget. <sighs> I feel good now that we've, we've set this up. Oh, we need concrete. This is the thing with not being able to share all the resources from my other places. Is there any concrete just hanging around here? Sure would be nice if there is. These dead bodies. Yeah, we got wood. I'll pretty this place up some other time. As soon as we, we can recruit people here, then we're going to have a lot more stuff that we can play around with. Let's at least save. And then we'll carry on to Diamond City. Actually... Let's have a little action, shall we? Oh, what are we? Are we actually... We're tired. Okay, so... Our character's actually exhausted. Let's get a decent night's nice kip. We've got the food and the water and the supplies that we need. And then we're going to go and take out a location that's near here. Um, backyard Apparel, I think it's called. A lot of good stuff in there. A couple of raiders. Maybe we can kill them. Take their armor take their ammo all of that good stuff I believe it's out here I've got to be more careful previously I could just it, it really got to the point where I could run around and I just wouldn't really get in any trouble. I'm back at the start now though, baby. Yeah, you took some killing. I was hoping that you'd be worth some XP. that backyard apparel place is I'm sure it exists but I think I've been turned around a bit metal left arm what have we got pocketed girded 
sure. I like pocketed armor. Pocketed armor equals, um, oh, tell you what. Pocketed armor means better carrying capacity, of course. Handy when you're playing the survival mode and you can't fast travel. Being able to carry more stuff is very useful. You're a bad guy. Sorry to do this, but I'm going to shoot you in the back. Of the head. Nice and quick. That's merciful, right? Not as merciful as not shooting her, but... Oh, hello, buddy. Surprise, my defense there. It's so satisfying. Just just sniping from a distance. It's fun. Spike armor, huh? What's spike armor when it's at home? Bit of all over stuff, huh? Nothing compared to what we got. Okay, went out of our way, killed a couple of people. Shall we continue our objective and actually go to Diamond City? Did we unlock that door? Sort of a shortcut to Diamond City this way. Lot of lot of violence, lots of gangs, lots of people in old Boston. At least until you clear them out. Oh, super mutants, huh? Haven't encountered them yet. Gotta remember that I do not have dog meat as a distraction. I got a feeling that those things could kill me. Good job you saved it at Hangman's Alley. I was going to say, I guess they're not here this time. This is a little bit dicey, but there's some stuff there. Mm, missed. Oh, there's lots of them. Used to Hangman's Alley being a Sanctum Sanctorum, somewhere that I could run if I was in trouble, and I'd have more than half a dozen flipping residents there ready to take up arms against whatever was coming for me. Uh, this is a brand new game, so that doesn't happen now. Hey, you guys, come over here and help. Oh, hey, hey, Madeline. I am very good. Thank you very much for asking. 
Yeah, just having some fun. Oh, good. I've managed to rope these guys into this gun battle. That's useful for us. Very useful. Uh, how are you? Hope you're well. How's the game? Oh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. That was so close. Yeah, um... Just made some good progress. I'm looking to do some bits for the main story. Uh, that's, that's... You know, the most interesting stuff. This run through, I'm going to be... Joining the institution, the bad guys. And, uh, yeah, we're sort of play playing as a, a female character this time. So, see what differences that brings. Just just really enjoying it. I mean, that first playthrough of this was just great. I, I'd never got into Fallout 4, but then playing it on survival mode really made all of the difference. This is the second time around, so I've got bit of a better idea of what I'm doing, what kind of works, what I need to do to get ahead. So I'm looking forward to putting all of that in practice and of course sharing it with an audience. There may not be that same sense of adventure because now I've got a bit more of an idea of what is where, where the story goes and everything. But at the same time, we should be able to just leverage some of the stuff that we've learned. And have a lot of fun. It's it's a lot of fun at this point as well when, you know, you, you can die very easily. Especially in survival mode. Everything's a threat. You, you're really sort of on edge. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, man, we'll have some of that. Yeah, uh, do you stream any other games? Yeah, I, I had been streaming uh, Walking Dead No Man's Land mobile game. That's that's when I first started actually publishing stuff, gaming stuff. Um, really enjoyed that. I'm taking a bit of a break from that. Uh, I, was, I was playing a really old strategy game, Star Trek Birth of Federation, uh, Fallout 4 I've kind of come back to. What I was thinking of doing when it comes out is getting Star Wars Outlaws. I've been reading some stuff about that, looking at some videos and, and things, and it's funny. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but it looks okay. It does look pretty good. So that's that's something that I'm considering as well. Um, what's your favourite game? Oh, This War of Mine. I've been playing a lot of This War of Mine still. Got into that years ago. I, I can't get enough of that game. It's just so emotional. It has such an impact. It's, it's just incredible. And then... Um, I can't think of anything else that I, I sort of stream. I, I don't think there's anything else that I'm streaming at the moment. What about you? What's your favourite game? What do you, um, do you stream at all? I mean, I started off just watching other people playing games at first. I just absolutely loved it. I found it very relaxing. And then, yeah. You love shooting games. Call of Duty and stuff like that. I, I dabbled in that for a bit. I like the zombie mode in the most recent, the open world sort of zombie mode in the recent game. Occasionally, I'd jump into sort of a team deathmatch and... Hmm, depended on the map whether I actually did any good or not. God, there's some there's some people who play, you know, especially those first-person shooters, those sort of team-based shooters and things like that. They're like gods. They know every pixel of every map. 
played uh, CS2 Valorant and my most favorite Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, now that's been out for donkey's years and it's still, still so popular. There's a reason for that as well. I mean, the GTA games, I remember the first one that came out. It was so controversial, <laughs> which is funny to think of back now. It's so tame. Um, but I remember Fallout, Fallout 3 when that came out. That was just such a revelation. Then was it San Andreas, I think? I mean, they're just, they're just incredible. That, that open world, the sense of immersion, waiting for GTA 6. Yes, I've seen the trailer for that. And my gosh... It, it really looks like something. Um, I agree. You're going to have that all-star cast that you always have, that great writing, that really nice balance of sort of grittiness and humor. Incredible music as well, being able to tune into the radio stations and see it, hear just some classic hits and modern anthems. Even just going for a drive, just grabbing your favorite car and just going for a spin around the cities is just fun. Of course, if you then want to just blow stuff up with an RPG and get a five-star rating and really get the adrenaline pumping, what? that works as well. Who are you? <laughs> oh my God, Shh. I look creepy. Along. What? What's that? You said. Okay, Piper. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the? Really supply? enjoying the steam and chatting Jeez, with you. Right. That's all that I want. Personal. That's all I want is for, for people to watch, have a good time. It's just about sharing the games, it's about sharing the experience. Um, yeah, I'm just... That's great. I'm enjoying the chat as well. Do you stream every day? Um, I stream most days. I, I, I could come up with a schedule, I guess, and I might work that into my channel I've I've sort of just changed the games that I'm playing and everything like that so I might I might have a look at my you know my calendar place, figure that Diamond out City. City. what is it but yeah I mean most oh, days usual? usually just whenever I fancy it see nice. who jumps on everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here settled here <laughs> got kicked out of here a big wall some power we know your story Piper we played can I add you and my Discord friends? Yeah, absolutely, actually. It'd be nice to, to chat a little bit about some games and stuff in Discord. I'm, I'm always talking about um, The Walking Dead, No Man's Land. Um, but yeah, occasionally, occasionally it's nice to chat about some other, uh, you know, some other games and stuff. So, Were you a fan of Fallout 4, by the way? I've been a fan of Fallout since Fallout 2. I remember when Fallout 2 actually came out. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No. <laughs> Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Don't let Spend this money muckraker here down. tell you otherwise. Muckraker. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. She's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> now, was there anything it's funny, uh, you came to our city for? I'm sure the last who plays Piper, she played a journalist in Dexter as well, if I recall. What's your Discord? There should be a link to it. Excuse me just one second. Should be able to bring it up on my other phone, I think. I could invite you, couldn't I? I'd need to know how to... I've just got the real Scoticus server. I think that's just what it's it's called. I don't think I changed it or anything. I'm on there obviously as real Scoticus.
Yeah, the real Scoticus server. <laughs> That's just what it's called. Just picture me with um, my little cat, really Io. Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider oh. you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but um, stop by my Let's office. Let's see, can I, I have an idea make sure that I've got a link on my profile? Oh, okay. Sorry to cut it short. That'll be the stream. I think this is a good place to stop it anyway. You got the link? I'll chat to you there. I'm going to call that a stream here. That's been a good hour. We're just about to get into Diamond City. That's a good place to leave it. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one.